grey brick upon brick. The Klamachi bronze on sombre pedestals, O'Connell, Bratton, Moore, and the brewery tugs, and the swans, and the balustrated stream, and the bare bones of a fan light over the hungry door, and the air soft on the cheek, and porter running from the taps with a head of yellow cream, and Nelson on his pillar watching his world collapse. This never was my town. I was not born or bred nor schooled here, and she will not have me alive or dead, but yet she holds my mind with her seedy elegance, with her gentle veils of rain, and all her ghosts that walk and all that hide behind her Georgian facades, the catcalls and the pain, the glamour of her squalor, the bravado of her talk, the lights jig in the river with the concertina move and the sun comes up in the morning like barley sugar on the water, and the mist on the Wicklow Hills is close, as close as the peasantry were to the landlord, as the Irish to the Anglo-Irish, as the killer is close one moment to the man who kills, or as the moment itself is close to the next moment. She is not an Irish town, and she is not English, historic with guns and vermin, and the cold renown of a fragment of church Latin, of an oratorical phrase, but oh, the days are soft. Soft enough to forget the lesson better learnt. The bullet on the wet street, the crooked deal, the steel behind the laugh, the four courts burnt. Fort of the Dane, and garrison of the Saxon, Augustan capital of a Gaelic nation appropriating all the alien brought, you give me time for thought, and by a juggler's trick, you poise the toppling hour. O oh, greyness run to flower, grey stone, grey water, and brick upon grey brick. <laughs>